Hey, time for an update. Ninth edition Chaos Marine Codex finally dropped. And I've been having more fun with my Night Lords than I ever have in the three years that I fielded them. So over here is my current 2000 point slash 100 power level army because I don't really do competitive. I just do open play narrative now. So power level works for me. And here's the rest of the army. So here we have to start with my most heretical model, Demon Princess Celestine. I run as a heretic Astartes Demon Prince. Pretty minimal kit bashing, but it just works so well. This is an Age of Sigmar Endless spell. I love this model. And it always gets compliments. And now that you can give her... I give her the Rapacious Talons and the Liber Hereticus um, relics, plus the Flames of Spite Warlord trait. She just rocks in combat. And... I have her usually buffing up this squad of 10 Terminators. These are the Forge World Night Lord ones. Um, I just, I put regular 40k chain swords on them because the ones they come with are like all spindly and doofy looking. But these guys are super rad. Really gory, really gross. I do... Maximum combi melters on combi melters on them, uh, a cursed weapon and uh, heavy flamers. Two heavy flamers, four combi melters, then the rest are just uh, combi bolters. They are. Don't listen to what the internet says. These guys are really really good still, especially when she gives them prescience, and they reroll ones, thanks to her uh, Lord of Chaos. And you give them, you give the sergeant the black rune of damnation, so they're minus one to wound at all times. And with night lords, you can give them minus one to hit with midnight clad. They are very tanky and very good. I got just five legionaries. Just regular dudes that hold back and chill. Other headquarters unit, we have a Lord Discordant. Impaling a, an unfortunate ultramarine. That's what you get for being a dog of the False Emperor. This is the only model in the army that I actually had someone paint because I was just super intimidated by it. And I love putting it out there. I run it with a Bale Flamer now because it's better than the auto cannon. Give him the Night Lord's uh, Warlord trait. Uh, I think it's called Cloaked in Night. I'm not sure. I don't have the codex right in front of me. But he's minus one to hit at all times. And you cannot reroll hit rolls against him. Pretty good. Uh, next we have a squad of Havocs. So they're, they're all kitted out with auto cannons, but I run them with las cannons. Anything with AP1 is just not good right now. Love, 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 love these models. So happy with them now that they got their second wound. And with so much melee nastiness running up the board, they just hang back and really kind of don't get paid attention to. And just give me last can of shots. Especially good turn one with Let the Galaxy Burn. Six is getting double hits. That's just so spicy. Next we have uh, 10 Raptors. Just bolt pistols and chainswords. Uh, they got 3D printed uh, chain glaives and heads. And then there's their kit bash with like different arms and stuff. But other than that, these are just the stock Raptors. 
Love these guys. They get like 40 something attacks. Good recipient of uh, Veterans of the Long War and very good with the Legion trait, which I am actually warming up to uh, because they give minus one themselves and the Legion trait gives minus two leadership. So they're minus three. Anything with leadership eight or less, they are plus one to wound when they're in combat with it, which is pretty damn good. I've seen it, seen it proc more than once. Just love these dudes. And I think the red jump packs are really, really cool. Now we've got uh, six bikers. I haven't actually tried these dudes yet. Um, they get a longer move than the Raptors. They get a 14 inch move and a six inch auto advance. And then they have a strat when they advance, they can be minus one to hit. Um, I just give them chain swords. And then uh, two of them can get melta guns as well as their uh, combi bolters on the bike. So that's it. But they're all kitted out super grossly. This dude's got, I guess, his favorite corpse strapped to his back. And here's the sergeant. Age of Sigmar uh, corpse cart kit is where this came from. If you're a Night Lords player, I highly recommend you buy three of them because it is just a font of bits. Oh, flesh saddles, naturally. He's been killing Dark Angels, Sisters of Battle, and Iron Hands, maybe? I love Night Lords. They're so over the top. Uh, next, we have two squads of five Legionaries. Uh, just kitted out for melee. Just uh, bolt pistols and chain swords. Here's uh, the sergeant for one of them, is the Horus Heresy Praetor. Kind of a derpy pose, but it's still pretty cool. I just, I just run him as a chain sword sergeant. And last but not least, I've always wanted a land raider. They always sucked. Now that they are tough nine and armor of contempt and their last cannons do minimum three, oh god, they are so good. Maybe not competitive, but it feels the way a land raider should. This thing is fearsome. So two Soul Shatter Last Cannons, Heavy Bolters, the Pentel Combi Bolter. The uh, 10 melee Legionaries ride in this thing. This is Jeweler's Chain. Another thing I recommend picking up for Night Lords players. You can probably get it at hobby shops, but I got like five feet of it on eBay for like three bucks. Of course, we have some unlucky cultists bolted to the front of the vehicle. I saw a picture online of a guy that did lightning in the, in the form of a Chaos Star. I tried to replicate it. Mine doesn't look nearly as good, but I think it still, I think it still looks really badass. Very happy with how this turned out. I painted it in less than 24 hours. So that's, that's the uh, battalion. So here are the reserves. So we have another 10 Raptors. Oh, they're the same as the uh, other ones. They just have a slightly different paint job. They're like a different blue and they don't have skull paint. Oh, they're basically the same. And here we have uh, five more legionaries. 
I actually have a couple more, but it's they just get repetitive just showing them off over and over again. Uh, another squad of Havocs. Should I ever need a second squad of heavy weapons? Uh, and then we got three Predators. This one was a Rhino, and it has a Cromlech turret on it. It's okay. It's definitely my least favorite one. It might, it might go back to being a Rhino one day. Who knows? But this one... This is definitely my favorite. So this guy holding holding up some another unlucky Imperial citizen. And we have the corpse cart corpses all over the front. There's a rat coming out of that guy's stomach. That's pretty cool. Just loading up citizens to take to the skinning pits. And he's got fleshy bits. These are also from the corpse cart kit. These are like robes. Uh, and then he's got like the uh, skinning tools strapped to the side of the tank. Got this dude. He's probably been there a while. Been on the inside. You guessed it, more corpses. This thing probably smelled atrocious on the battlefield. And this one is basically the same. Just done not quite as good as the other one, but it's the same, same idea. And we have a uh, drop pod, which I use as a dread claw. Three obliterators. So these guys just came out of the list. They are MVPs, especially if you can get a master possession with them. But even if you can't, they are good. The flat four damage shooting profile, the power fists that don't have a penalty to hit, they can shoot in combat. They are so cool now, as befitting their appearance. And last but not least, we have the leftover headquarters units. So this is a, this is just kind of the box chaos lord. Probably put a, probably give him a power sword one day. Is the thunder hammer just with the penalty to hit is just not good enough. Um, super happy with the way this dude turned out. And he's got a, uh, I think that's a warp talon head. The trophies on the back are from some Age of Sigmar Chaos character. And the backpack is the old metal Night Lord's character backpack. And of course, the, the, the obligatory flesh cloak. So yeah, this guy's, this guy's really cool. And you can just, with the extra wound and the extra attacks that all the characters get, they're just so much, so much deadlier, so much more fun. And I run this guy as my master of possession. This is the Indomitus Chaplain. This is uh, this is from the Age of Sigmar's, uh, I don't know, some model. Uh, it didn't have the heads, it had something else. It was some, some Stormcast Eternal guy, but I thought it was just perfect for warp energy. I'm really happy with the way this guy turned out. Also one of my favorite kit bashes. This head, is the head off one of the flamethrower uh, cavalry from Admech. I thought it just looked super evil and creepy. And I'm pretty proud of this because it sits weird because the cavalry are riding with their heads forward and this is a Marine with his head sticking up. I landed on this. That's an aggressor torso building up the back of the neck. Pretty proud of that. And of course the fleshbound tome. Garot for a killing unlucky cultist. 
And um, here's another thing that I just, I had never seen this done, but I just did it myself. Um, since he's posing, like he's on a rock, I don't, I don't remember what happened to his original base, but I took a base and cut it in half and stacked it up to make this like little granite rock thing. And if you just cover it up with technical paint, you just can't really tell. Here's a Terminator Sorcerer. I think this is a 30K version, but he's so badass. He was dropping in with the uh, Tin Man Terminators, but I just changed up the list a little bit because I, was, uh, I wasn't really enjoying having two Psychers that both do the uh, Dark Hereticus discipline. There's just really not enough good spells there. I don't know if you can tell, but his eyes are bleeding black warp juice. Just love this model. And last but not least, a model I'm sure almost every Night Lords player has. Harkin World Claimer as a Chaos Lord with Jump Pack. Um, I ran him with two Lightning Claws. And also I took off the stupid stick, and I just have him jumping directly off the corpse. Because the stick was just, I don't, I don't understand the stick. Uh, this guy, as of like two days ago, just got Legends rules, so you can run a Chaos Lord with Jump Pack now, or you could just do open play with your buddies and not act like every game is a tournament and just run him anyway. <laughs> but now you don't have to do that. Now you can run him in Legends. There it is. That is my whole army. Most of this I bought secondhand. I painted all of it myself except for the uh, Lord Discordant. Really, really proud of it. It's doing very, very well in ninth edition. I am just playing uh, open play, just fun missions. So I don't, I can't speak to objectives and secondaries, but. They sure are a hell of a lot more killy than they were before. Alright guys, till next time, Navi Dominus Knox.